let's continue part 4 the basic of accountancy for plus 1 i mean cbc syllabus charge depreciation at 10 percent per annum for two months of machine costing rupees 30000 so the machinery costing is 30000 and then rate of depreciation 10 percent 10 by 100 we have used only for two months so two months period 2 by 12 so 0 0 cancel and then 2 6 are 12 so 6 5 are 30 so 500 rupees is a depreciation so under equation method first of all depreciation is nothing but the reduction in value of asset so machinery value has been decreased so asset decreased so asset decreased means the machinery decreased value decreased so that account machinery account should be credited and then it is a loss increase in loss increase in loss is debited so depreciation account should be debited to decrease in value of assets so i mean credited so machinery account credited 500 rupees 500 rupees being depreciation is charged at 10 percent per annum so under golden rule debit all expenses and losses so that we are debiting and then under uh, go, same golden rule credit what goes out so it value has been reduced so machinery account should be credited the next one provide interest on capital of rupees 150,000 at 6% per annum for 9 months period so how much interest on capital we have to calculate the capital value 150,000 rupees into rate of interest 6 by 100 because 6% for the period 9 months so 9 by 12 so 6 2s are 12 and then 2 0 cancel and then uh, 2 I mean 750 it will become 750 so 9 0 45 remaining 4 and then 9 63 67 so 6750 is the interest on capital so interest on capital means what actually it is an expenses increase in expenses it should be debited so interest on capital rupees 6750 normally the interest are to be um, added to the capital account if it is added it will be increased so capital increases it should be credited so to capital account so 6750 so interest on capital at 6% provided for 9 months that is a narration but while comparing the golden rule interest debit all expenses and losses here it is a expenses so interest on capital and then capital account it's comes coming under personal rule when the capital brings in cash account data to capital account i mean proprietors capital account here it has been increased so credit the giver like that actually we have to think like that it has been given by the proprietor so capital account should be credited the next one ragul become insolvent insolvent means the person who is not able to pay debt who owed rupees 2000 rupees actually has to pay 2000 rupees to us a final dividend of rupees 60 paise in a rupee is received from his estate. Sometimes the court will declare any person be a insolvent. If he becomes a insolvent, the amount stated by the court, actually we could collect only 60 paise out of 1 rupee. Even though he has to pay 2000 rupees to us, we could collect only 60 paise. So how much we can collect? For example, 2000 rupees. 2000 into 60 paise out of 100 paise i mean 1 rupee out of 1 rupee we can collect 60 paise so 0 0 cancel so 1200 rupees we could collect so debit what comes in according to golden rule debit what comes in only 1200 rupees will come so cash account debit 1200 what about remaining 800 rupees that is bad debts in case of insolvent it will become bad debts so bad debts means it is a loss so debit all expenses and losses so bad debts account debit 800 rupees to credit the giver ragul is the giver 
கிரெடிட் த கிவ் ஷோர் டூ ராகுல் டூ தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஸோ த அமௌண்ட் கலெக்டட் ஃப்ரம் அமௌண்ட் கலெக்டட் ஃப்ரம் ராகுல் சிக்ஸ்டி பைசே அவுட் ஆஃப் ஒன் ருபி அவுட் ஆஃப் ருபீஸ் ஒன் ருபி out of 100 rupee so we can apply this method under equation method also the cash increase in cash increase asset i mean cash is an asset if it is increase it should be debited so it is debited bad debts it is a loss or expenses if it is increase so expenses or loss is increase it should be debited so it is debited and then ragul ragul actually is sundry debtor while we are selling the goods he is a debtor now it has been reduced so decrease in asset i mean decrease in asset it should be credited so ragul account is to be credited understand next one is rent outstanding that means we have not yet paid that rent so it is a still it is a liability so here two effects rent and then outstanding rent rent is an expenses outstanding rent it is a liability so rent increase in rent i mean expenses increases it should be debited so rent account should be debited 1000 rupees outstanding rent it is a liability if liability increases it should be credited so outstanding rent 1000 rupees so narration is outstanding rent under golden rule in the, according to the nominal account debit all expenses losses and then representative personal according to the representative personal outstanding rent must be credited next one is interest on drawings rupees 900 that means we have received cash in respect of interest on drawings rupees 900 rupees so cash account cash one is cash account and then interest on drawings interest on drawings it is an income cash it is an asset asset understand so here cash according to real account debit what comes in cash is coming so cash account should be debited interest on drawing according to nominal account credit all incomes and gains so it should be credited interest on drawing should be credited rupees 900 900 so interest on drawings received if you uh, compare the equation method under equation method cash is an asset increase in asset debited so cash should be debited interest on drawing it is an income so increase in income it should be credited so interest on drawings is credited the next one is bought goods rupees 2 lakh from kanta of delhi CGST at 9% and SGST at 9%. Here it is inclusive of taxes. Inclusive of taxes means for the purchasing price we have to pay tax also. I mean goods and services tax. There are three types of goods and services tax. One is central and then state and then integrated. So here two sales tax we have to pay. So purchases. Purchases means how much we purchased. Actually purchases. rupees 2 lakhs for 2 lakhs we are purchasing purchasing cost is 2 lakhs and then we have to add cgst that is input cgst cgst means goods service tax central goods service tax at 9% so 9% on 2 lakhs so 2 lakhs into 9 by 100 that is 18000 rupees and then one more tax we have to pay sgst that is also input while we are purchasing that is input while we are selling that is output tax so here input tax cgst at 9% so the same amount 2 lakh into 9 by 100 so 18000 rupees so the total purchase value is 2 lakh 36000 rupees from kanda of delhi so here we have to debit actually it is a credit purchase we have not yet paid so it is a credit purchase purchase according to nominal account all debit all expenses purchase is an expenses so purchases account debit 
debit how much 2 lakh and then input cgst it is also an expenses so debit all expenses so input cgst at 9 percent that is how 18000 rupees and then how input cgst and then sgst sgst means state goods and service taxes 18000 rupees to credit the giver who is the giver kanta so kanta of delhi to kanta credit the giver credit the giver so how much 2 lakh 36000 so goods credit purchase from kanda with cgst and sgst at 9% respectively Under equation method also purchases it is an expenses so expenses increases it is to be debited so it is debited and then input CGST and then input SGST both are expenditure so increase in expenditure it is to be debited and then Kanta, Kanta is the creditor so increase in creditor it is a liability so increase in creditors that should be credited so Kanta account should be credited. The next one is goods sold to Siddhu 1,20,000 of Delhi CGST 9% SGST 9% so we are selling it is a credit sale first of all it is a credit sale to whom we are selling Siddhu account so debit the receiver so personal account debit the receiver so Siddhu account debit and then to revenue actually sales sales mean it is a income so credit all incomes and gains to, so sales account how much sales account? 1,20,000 rupees we are selling. And then next one is CGST and SGST. Here it is, we have to treat it as a income now. And then we have to pay to the government. So it is a income, so credit all incomes and gains. So to G CGST, CGST, I mean output to CGST, output CGST and then to output SGST how much that is 1,20,000 into 9 percent 1,20,000 into 9 percent 1,20,000 into 9 percent that is 10,800 rupees each so here also 10,800 here also 10,800 understand so the total will be the debited i mean siddho account must be debited the total amount so 120000 plus 10800 plus 10800 so 141600 understand so credit sale to siddhu and then you can write CGST and then SGST at 9% you can write it. And then if we apply this equation method, Siddhu is a debtor, one of the debtor, Sandy debtor. It is an asset. Increase in asset means it should be debited. So we are debiting Siddhu account. And then sales. Sales it is an income. If income increases, it should be credited. So we are crediting. Output CGST. Even though if it is an income, it has to be repaid to the government. So it is a liability. So output CGST, output SGST, both are liability. If liability increases, it should be credited. So it is credited. Understand? 